Hi there, Morgan Tweet with IMD Hemp. I'm gonna show you our facility here in Fort Benton. So we're gonna start with a bale. This is raw straw, so bailed up on the field. We're gonna bring it to our hay buster. So this is where we open the bales and get it ready for processing. So we'll go up this conveyor, through this hay buster. We've got a cylinder with hammers in here. They're chipping away at it, taking chunks of, of straw. It's gonna be pneumatically conveyed through this elbow um, over to this condenser where the material drops out, hits this conveyor. This is where we're trying to get rid of rocks. Um, so rocks will drop off the bottom of the, con of the conveyor belt. The fiber will be picked up through this air handling system to the fill the roche line. This is where the two different feeders, since we have two different hay busters, feed our main line. Um, so there's material that's here. We meter it in um, with these aprons, these feed aprons. We then have a metal detector to make sure we don't have any contamination in there. Herd is dropping out, so you see it hitting the conveyor belt back behind here. Um, we'll go through, after the metal detector, through a set of excels continuing to open up that fiber. Herd will continue to hit the conveyor belt here. Fiber is then blown all the way down to the end of the line, goes through a series of step cleaners and excels. So it's working its way this way. Then herd is continuing to fall and make its way through on the outside. So this is just a series of step cleaners and excels. This is a great diagram of what an excel is. So this tower is filled with fiber. This is metered in. And so you have this nice mat of material going through these rollers. You can adjust these points. So everything from, you know, the needle size to the roller speed to the adjustment between here. And if you can get in there, you can see the roller with all the needles on there. Perfect. So we're going to continue down the line. Um, fiber is getting cleaner as it's making its way this way. Herd technically is getting dirtier because there's fiber hitting the belt. And so it's making its way down the line. We're gonna keep chugging our way here. <clears throat> uh, we pneumatically convey as much as we can. So we have to have some pretty robust air handling to, to do that. Um, herd will then end up here. This transition, you can see herd's already on the belt, um, but it will get picked up by this big fan. And this blower will then take this to our duvexes, which is where we clean herd. So this is the last step cleaner four. This is the last place fiber gets cleaned before it makes it over to a bale press. Um, the duvexes, the herd goes through our condensers, drops into this. This is a stationary screen drum um, <clears throat> with, chain, with different size screens down the way. And then there's a rotary paddle that's pushing the material down so the fiber starts to get rolled up on itself. It comes down, stays above the screen, um, and we pick it up and we actually recycle it back to the front of the line. The herd will drop through onto sieves. That's where we clean out any small fibers or dust or small particulate. The good herd will make its way down to the auto bagger. And then that small particulate and um, fines we send over to our mill room where we'll size it for particular customers. These are our bale presses. So all that clean fiber will come through here. We've got two different bale presses that they go back and forth. And then a third bale press for some of our short fiber that comes off of our air handling systems. And then lastly, we have our auto bagger system. And so all of that clean herd that came off the sieves is going into a compressed sealed bag. Um, and so we have four different sizes that we make, um, two little bags and um, two larger bags. And then we have a robot to help us palletize the bigger bags. So that's it. Thanks for coming.